We're going to ship this nuclear pressure vessel by barge from the Chicago Bridge and Iron Plant here in Memphis to Haver de Grace, Maryland. That's almost 3,000 miles, and it'll probably take, oh, about a month. And from here in Haver de Grace, they're going to haul it by track vehicle to Peach Bottom, Pennsylvania. That's about 20 to 30 miles from here. I guess it's about the heaviest thing ever been moved overland. All four engines, low gear, 2100 RPM, move forward. It's just a great interest to know to see something like this being moved over the roads in the Western Hemisphere. The heaviest piece of equipment to be, to be transported, according to what the newspaper said. The nuclear reactor that we're moving is, uh, weighs 750 tons. The carriers weigh 156 tons and 153 tons, respectively. And the total weight of our load is, uh, averages out at about 1,050 tons. Each, each vehicle has 750 horsepower, coming up to 1,500 horsepower total. You can imagine 1,500 horses tied together with uh, ropes and cables strong enough to pull that vehicle over the highway. That's what we have, 1,500 horses. We watched it this morning. We could see it on the top of the hill right here. Got a 60 power scope. Keep an eye on the neighbors, and it, it, they've all come this way. This is a lot bigger. Down a three bad breakdowns we've had, plus this rain, the sand, you know. Well, you were at with us the uh, one day there, all in the rain all day long. We stopped on JFK Boulevard. Was you there when we broke them two pads? Well, I'll tell you, that was rough. Oh, yeah, that was a wreck. Because we, we come across the highway, and we had just enough traffic on the back side and just enough traffic on the front side to get it through, and they couldn't stop traffic because it would have backed it up so far. So we had to work pretty fast. It took us about an hour and 45 minutes to put two, two of those pads on, which are, well, they weigh more than 250 pounds oh, yeah. apiece. That's why why we have spare trucks with us. You know, you know, you wouldn't take spare trucks with you if you didn't anticipate uh, breaking something. But we had a maxi brake breakdown. I mean, that only took a few minutes. We had airlines break. This is all, this is all part of the game.
the lineup for this bridge now, see, and it gets quite complicated. I got to get all those tracks right on the money. I can't sight you yet, Ducky, until I get up on the wood. Just keep grinding. Just keep them grinding. Just keep them grinding. Most of the bystanders, uh, they can't understand how come we just go three or four feet and then have to turn all the time. Uh, that's the, the purpose of it. He's, the machine is approximately uh, 37 feet high. And uh, with that much weight, he's got to take everything in, in consideration. And that's the reason why he's out front, because he can see everything. And, and uh, we can't take no chance at tilt. Keep coming. Everything's looking good. All four engines, 2,100 RPM. All four engines, 1,500 RPM. 1,000 RPM. 500 RPM. Prepare to stop, stop. Leave yours in neutral, Donald. Ducky. Ducky, come forward with your left track. Go to the rear with your right track. Hold on, Ducky. All four engines, second gear, 2,100 RPM. Move forward. What does atomic energy do? It just generates electric. another way of making steam. Instead of using coal or oil or wood, why they're using nuclear fission to create heat. And the heat creates steam. The steam makes electricity. Turns the turbines over. The turbines turn the generators over and the generators make electricity. clean, it's probably the cleanest way in the world of making electricity. This plant down here has cooling towers and one thing and other. The water goes back into the river in much better state than it comes out. It's, they're actually turning more or less pure water back into the stream. Juice generated in this plant will go to Baltimore Gas and Electric, Philadelphia Electric, uh, uh, Delaware Light and Power, 
and any number of other utilities through their the grid interchange system. Atomic energy.